Hello, and welcome to a Dark Regents Press unboxing that actually contains a Dark Regents Press title, which uh, is a rare statement these past few years. A Dark Regents Press, which uh, was a specialty horror press, uh, has been struggling the past few years. They haven't had much output in terms, especially in terms of their limited editions such as this. Uh, this is Mallory, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video or the thumbnail. Mallory by Josh Mallerman, a title that has been years in the making. Mallory came out in what, 2020? Was it 2019 or 2020? I feel like it might have been 2019. I could be wrong on that. Um, and this was, you know, announced almost the exact same time by Dark Regents Press. And then they had delays and printer problems. And well, their output has slowed significantly. Which is a shame, because I like to keep supporting uh, small presses. But I know some people aren't keen on waiting. But I am also a lifetime uh, fan of Cemetery Dance. So uh, waiting is in my blood. They've conditioned me well. So, uh, anyways. A little bookmark that is included here. From Dark Regions Press. Uh, the book itself is the same. It's a 7x10 trim size that uh, Bird Box was. Bird Box, I think, was one of the first titles I ever ordered from uh, Dark Regions Press. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, it was very exciting. And, uh, man, that seems so long ago. This is sold out, so unfortunately, if you do want a copy of Mallory or a copy of Bird Box in the special edition here, you're going to have to go to the secondary market gorgeous Vincent Chong cover artwork. Uh, he, his artwork is only on the dust jacket here. All the internal artwork is from Glenn Chadbourne, but that is fine. That is very fine. Mallory Special Edition. DRP. Plain black end papers. Uh, oh, wow, I got 53. That's exciting. I did not get my copy matched because I, I didn't even think about it. My copy of Bird Box is like 450-something, which is fine. I, I don't care. 53 is an exciting number, though. I just did a uh, Thunderstorm unboxing where I have 52 for my Gleefully Macabre line. Anyways, as you can see from the cover here, uh, not cover, the signature sheet here, we have Gled Chadboard interiors. I think he has 10 interiors. Uh, so anyways, the... Uh, it's funny, the product page for this online, despite being sold out, still says, estimated to ship in summer of 2021. Well, it is now 2023, uh, almost summer, so we are... Uh, Mallory is for Kristen Nelson. That's the actress, right, from uh, from Psych? I, I know she was in other things than Psych. Was she in Bird Box as well? I, I, I'm not going to lie, I never actually watched the movie for Bird Box. Love the novel but never watched the, the movie with Sandy Bullock. But I know that one really skyrocketed the popularity of Josh Mallerman. Uh, so if you uh, are looking for a copy of Mallory and you just want it signed by Josh Mallerman, that should be pretty easy to come by. He is very generous with his signatures. Um, very uh, Glenn chadbourne ask zombies going on here. Uh, so you can probably find a signed trade edition for pretty cheap. Uh, but this edition, you'd have to go to the secondary market. So anyways, Bird Box, if you're not familiar, takes place in a sort of apocalypse, or it well, becomes an apocalypse, apocalyptic scenario where there are creatures around that if you see these creatures, you are driven to madness. And so it follows the titular Mallory. Well, she's titular in this one. Uh, she's, you know... Not titular in Bird Box, because that would be weird if her name was Bird Box. Anyways, uh, she and the other survivors have to go around blindfolded to avoid seeing these creatures, lest they be driven insane. And it is an incredible read. It, it jumps back and forth in time uh, to kind of one storyline follows the timeline of her surviving with a group of survivors in a household. The other timeline deals with her and two, chi her two children uh, blindfolded and going down the river, which is not the ideal way to be going in traversing rapids. Uh, so that brings us to Mallory here, where they've arrived at the School for the Blind. Twelve years have passed, and she gets word of there being another settlement 
uh, out in the wilderness where her, uh, her parents might be alive. So her and her two children, who are now 12 years old, well, no, they were kids in the first one. So they got to be adults in this one then. I haven't actually read Mallory, so if this doesn't show, I haven't read Mallory. I read Bird Box, loved it. I'm going off the synopsis. So they must be grown-ass adults now. You know, young adults. It's 12 years past, and they were a couple of years old in the first one. You know, they weren't babies. They were young kids. Anyway, 12 years have passed. Her and her kids are now traversing to go find uh, this other settlement, which might possibly house her parents, who may have survived. So hooray. That might be a spoiler in the picture there, but you know what? I'm showing it anyways. I don't know. I don't know if it's a spoiler. I haven't read the novel. Could be a dream. Could have all been a dream. That's her waking up in the dream. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> anyways. Very, very cool. This is an afterword? An afterword! Yeah. And I was say, you got pressure? I felt none. I feel like you have to have a ton of pressure following a bird box. That is crazy. I don't know how you do it, Josh. You are a humble man, too. So anyways, uh, they journey out into the uh, into the world to find this other settlement. Couldn't tell you what happens after that because I haven't read it yet. But I will read it. One day, I will read it, and I'll let you know. Uh, so if you are a Mallerman fan and you want to get caught up on the limited editions, I think... I don't know if it's sold out yet. Spin of Black Yarn, which is going to be a short story collection, is going to get published by Dark Regions Press. Uh, I do say that with a grain of salt because Mallory, this is a novel that is three, possibly four years old because time is irrelevant. Um, and it took about four years, you know, three years, four years to get published in the special edition. Uh, two years later than they were hoping. And that 2001 date, I think, was right after their first delays. So, I don't know. Grain of salt. Um, that being said, Dark Regions Press has teamed up with Weird House Press, uh, which is actually the founder of Weird House Press is, is Joe Moray, who was the founder of Dark Regions Press. He left Dark Regions some years back. Chris Moray took over the press. Uh, Joe Moray has been kicking ass with Weird House Press. Him and Curtis M. Lawson, uh, they've been publishing titles left and right. A lot of signed paperbacks, but they've been doing signed hardcovers as well. They've teamed up with Dark Regions Press to help them with their limited edition line, which if you are attaching yourself to the fiendish publishing uh, juggernauts that are Weird House Press, hopefully it will speed up production at Dark Regions Press. So maybe it won't be a several year long wait for Spin of Black Yarn, but you never know. Um, other Josh Mallerman titles that are out there in small presses. You have Inspection from Earth and Publications. I think there are still some copies left on that. I could be mistaken, but it was a very, very nice looking book. And there, I believe there were still copies available. Uh, down the road in the works is a, a special edition of Mallory. I don't know who's publishing it. Uh, all I know is it's not Earthling Publications, so it could be Dark Regions Press. Who knows? Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Mallory. I have a book review on the channel if you wanted to check that one out. But, uh, so I'll probably pass on that one, but it could be for you. Anyways, check out Dark Regions Press. It's great to see them publishing their own titles again. Uh, as I said, they had a hiatus for a few years where they were just churning out other... Uh, they were just like a third-party seller for other publishers' titles, including Suntup, including some Thunderstorm books, whole bunch. But it's good to see them getting their own books out there again. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please check out Josh Mallerman, Vincent Chong, Glenn Chadbourne, and Dark Regions Press. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.